Hello everybody and welcome back to the Guardian Legend, where this time we'll be taking on the forest area. You know, I thought I remembered the borders of this area being more like normal trees, but nope, you thought wrong. This is an alien ship. Okay, I make a bit of a miscalculation here, but nothing I can't get back up from. Just, uh, arrange a little glitch and everything will be fine. The reason I feel no shame for using that glitch is because this is an 80s NES game. You use anything you can get your hands on. By the way, if there are any small graphical glitches that show up in the video, that's a result of a recording fault. The game doesn't really have those problems. You have to look for glitches in the Guardian Legend. And mid-boss time. Yeah, this type of mid-boss is fast enough that you can't really get away from it, so you have to stand your ground or use really powerful weapons or all sorts of other shenanigans in order to get around it. And hey, a red lander! Hey, I almost died! Okay, that brings us to a max of 400 chips. And I could go back for the upgrade to the laser, but I'm just gonna wait on that and complete this area. Surely there's nothing in here that can put me into dire straits. No password, please. Yeah, the music for the forest area tends to be something of a favorite. I know I encountered at least a few remixes of it, uh, over time. Fire rate up. Take care of these things. And in we go. You know, apart from the uh, manual and the opening crawl, the rest of the game's text was actually translated extremely faithfully. Which is a bit of a surprise. It's like that moment where you learn that in Castlevania 2 that the uh, townspeople really were that unhelpful in the Japanese version. Yeah, the later iterations of this mid-boss can cause real problems. Because they will just spew enemies everywhere they choose. And I can't grab that yet. There we go. So what I just grabbed was the enemy eraser. It is a powerful but limited use weapon that has its own separate ammo count, and it destroys all of the uh, weak enemies and shots on the screen. Now, there's a very specific glitch that you can do with this weapon that I will be showing off in this video. Exploiting that glitch is pretty much necessary for me to complete the game nowadays. What I lack in skill, I make up for in downright shenanigans. Of course,
course, this concludes the exploration part of this area, and since I only got the key for this one place, I'm actually going to be doing both of the shooting stages here. The enemies in this area may seem a bit odd, but if you're looking for a shooter with ri that has invoked uh, the prayer, make my enemies ridiculous, you really need to look for a gun knack. And speaking of shooters and this game in particular, some people do really wish for a sequel on this and... Well, it would be nice if someone made the attempt. I'm not entirely sure that uh, any of the uh, current gaming approaches could really put together a uh, good sequel of this game the way things currently are. I can really think of maybe one or two companies that might remain faithful uh, to uh, the uh, good feels of uh, this game. However, I don't think either of them are really interested in a semi-obscure title like this one. And secondly, they'd actually have to fight with Compile Heart uh, for the rights. Because uh, they actually have the rights to all of the old compiled properties, like Aleste, Puyo Puyo, and... Well, this. Well, actually, a, I can think of maybe a third one who could do it. Sitterskane would probably do a good job, at least with the shooting sections. Okay, the boss of this is Bombardier. A truly weak boss. Who will be no challenge to us at all, because... Even though it fires a lot of missiles, its projectiles are very weak and they can all be destroyed, so regaining uh, health or chips or whatever is going to be very, very easy for us. However, it is on the durable side, so we're going to be fighting this guy for a while. Not much to say, the bosses in uh, this game tend not to mix up their patterns, at least not at this stage of the game. A bit later on, enemies will mix it up a little as they get more damaged. And down he goes. And for all of our troubles, we get... Another defense up. Perfect. We're going to need it. Now, we were told by the computer to wait, wait forever. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but you do need to stick it out. It's not even as long as the Earthbound uh, Waterfall puzzle. Speaking 
Speaking of alien ship, in the Japanese uh, manual, there's a uh, interior map somewhat of a uh, Naju, and Naju has a really weird layout. Like, the in-game uh, map is a best approximation uh, of uh, the general uh, layout of uh, the areas that the Guardian is exploring, but uh, the exploring uh, area of uh, the game is uh, not actually flat. It's actually more rolled up in a tube that uh, narrows at it as it uh, goes towards the uh, core of the vessel. There's just... It's extremely difficult to describe. Hey, another uh, chunk of enemy erasers. Each pickup uh, will give you 20 uses of the enemy eraser, and after you pick up the first one, enemy erasers will start dropping as uh, regular drops in uh, item boxes. The boss of this level normally gives me a whole lot of trouble. So as I said before, I have the Carnival Night music all prepped and ready to go. Yeah, I couldn't decide what weapon to use for this one. Okay, let's see how this goes. The blue Optimon is probably the hardest in-game uh, shooting stage boss. In... Yeah. For the mid-game, in case I didn't emphasize that. There's going to be a harder boss later. Yeah, the thing is, it will actually double up on strands sometime, and you can be trapped in impossible positions if you're not careful. This boss usually causes me quite a lot of grief. But thankfully, I can glitch! Basically, the way the eraser glitch works is that you blow up stuff with the enemy eraser, and then rapid-fire the enemy eraser to blow up the explosions, repeating until, uh, you, uh, get drops from the stuff you destroyed. That is, uh, the first, but certainly not the last time you'll see me exploiting it, and I didn't have to retry this boss! That is more or less a first. Okay, that corridor is done for, we get a life refill for our troubles, but no uh, permanent power-ups. And I will be seeing you next time when we finish exploring the forest. Bye!